Hi, I'm Avery and you're watching DJI Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to live stream to Facebook on the Mavic Pro in the DJI GO 4 app. Shooting live aerial video is pretty amazing and will definitely get your friend's attention online. Now, before we begin, remember that when you live stream, you'll need a strong data connection and you may use a significant portion of your wireless data plan. To get started, tap the icon with three dots in the top right-hand corner of your camera view to access the general settings. Scroll down until you see Live Stream and tap Select Live Broadcast Platform. You can tap on the platform of your choice here. In this video, we'll cover how to stream to Facebook, so choose that option. Connecting to a live streaming platform requires a little more setup the first time, but it's faster once you're connected. For Facebook, tap on Login with Facebook. This will bring you out of the DJI GO 4 app to facebook.com. Select Continue As for your account. The Facebook app will then ask you to authorize the various permissions the DJI GO 4 app needs to operate. Once you've given the DJI GO 4 app the Facebook permissions it needs, you'll be brought back into the DJI GO 4 app itself. Tap Go Live. You'll be prompted to describe your video and choose the sharing settings for it. Then tap Go Live one more time and you'll start streaming after Facebook counts down 3, 2, 1. As you stream, you'll see streaming information now in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. It will show you how many current viewers you have how long you've been live, and your audio levels. Note that when you're streaming live with the DJI GO 4 app, it will take audio from the mobile device connected to your controller, not the aircraft itself. Tap the blue streaming icon next to your live streaming information, and you can enable or disable audio as well as comments. This is also where you'll end your live stream. When finished, Facebook will automatically save your live stream video for later viewing. Once you've done your first live stream, try it again now that your Facebook account is already connected. This will help you get into the flow and see how easy it is to live stream once your accounts are connected.